This final draft tutorial will focus on different options you have to organize your writing while you're working on a screenplay. Now for this particular tutorial, I decided to use a script that I already had written, which is for a short film I wrote called All of My Students. Now if you look at the top of the screen, you'll notice that there are three little squares. When you put your cursor over it, one says split, unsplit, one says split vertically, and one says split horizontally. Now if you click the split vertically button, you'll see it reproduces the script on two sides of the screen. When you split it horizontally, it reproduces the script just below the original. Now I prefer to work in split vertically because it's just easier on my eyes. Now what you can do is you can click on the right side of the screen and you'll see the little blue box that's around the left side will then move to the right side of your screen. This means you're working in the right side of your screen. Now what you can do is you can go and click on view and scroll down and you'll see index card summary. Now once you click on that you'll see summary cards that will appear for the entire screenplay. Now you have to go through and fill all of these in but they're incredibly useful because you can fill out different what's happening in the scene and you can fill out exactly where you want your screenplay to go. And then you can click on the other side and you can continue working on your screenplay. Now, for example, if I wanted to add a note, all I do is click in the box that I want to add, type my text, and none of the text that appears in the index card summary will appear in your actual screenplay. Those are just notes for you. Now, after I'm done typing, I can go ahead and I can try a different view. The other view involves the script actually appearing on the other side. What I can do is I can then click on view and then click on index card script and it'll show me exactly like the beginning parts of each script of each the beginning parts of each scene in each little index card. Now in this particular view you can move around the entire scenes just by clicking and dragging it I can move it and the order actually shifts within the screenplay itself. Now I didn't necessarily want that to happen so I undid it. Also, you can't necessarily change the text of the screenplay in these index cards. However, you can change the individual screen headings. So, for example, in that first scene, say I wanted it to happen in the early morning instead. So I just click on it and take out evening and type in morning. Hit enter and you'll see the text changed to early morning. Now with these couple of strategies you can organize all of your thoughts while you write and you can also print those index cards to show to people if you're pitching your idea and they need to see a more drawn out diagram of exactly what you plan on doing. Good luck with your screenplay!